uh, it's uh, Giacomo speaking uh, thanks for watching this quick video and update on AstraZeneca uh, stock so AstraZeneca uh, as we can see in front of us uh, has been moving uh, without any trend since middle of I think uh, March uh, everything let's call it be back and we are actually May sorry the beginning of May has been moving in a sideways trend after being performing very well because uh, as we know as we well know this company uh, is one of the company competing uh, in the research of a vaccine against uh, or for the COVID-19 so as we are right now for considering the last three months those prices has been moving inside a channel and the only thing that we can do uh, to try to predict the next step of this uh, stock is just to use the a little bit of uh, channel theory uh, that it just tell us that when the prices are closer to the bottom uh, uh, resistance line the idea is to go uh, short and vice versa when prices are closer to the bottom uh, flat support line the idea is to go long as it happened in this situation as it, it might happen again in this situation this uh, situation so the idea of uh, the idea of going long or to go long it applies only of only if the support level of 79.5 pound it's not gonna be broken so it means that in in two day in a daily candlestick so you shift from one hour candlestick to a daily candlestick we have to check if the close price of a day of a daily candlestick is always above 79 Point five pound if it is below for a couple of days in a row it means that the support level has been broken and the idea is just to hold and not to go long so absolutely no go long if the uh, support level will be broken otherwise if the support level will work as proper support and it will not be broken the idea is to go long and following this theory of the cha channel theory so with the new target price of 88 uh, pound uh, so by the moment the best option is just old uh, because we got just a news fresh news of a couple of hours ago that uh, uh, well, that uh, a person that was uh, uh, was using as a volunteer actually using this co this uh, AstraZeneca AstraZeneca vac vac vaccine uh, has died in Brazil so this news uh, this, th that this is the reason why the let's say this stock uh, it just uh, is performing let's say not very well since the beginning of day and the reason is because uh, this let's say just one person died and this person was trying uh, was, was being let's say uh, uh, healed or they were trying to heal him uh, to cure him with uh, an AstraZeneca vaccine unfortunately he died and this those, those are the consequences that we are seeing right now and this is this it this this fundamental news explains the reason why the stock uh, is right is right now is going down but again even with this negative news uh, if the support level will not be broken the idea is always to go long but for now assuming that the price that we don't know if the support level will be broken or not and assume based on this negative news the best option is to hold before going long thanks bye